What's up fellow noobs? Today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. We're going to be playing Stardew Valley. Uh, it's not the same as what I usually play, uh, horror games and whatnot, but I felt that it was time for some cozy games on here as well because that's what I play when I'm not doing YouTube videos, so I feel like I should play it on YouTube as well because it's probably one of the game genres that I enjoy the most um, right next to horror but yeah let's move on let's get on we're gonna do a new game <clears throat> hopefully you can hear me over the music because it is kind of loud also my mic's been like My pop filter, I guess, not my mic, has been like, oh, I don't really want to, but thanks for asking. We'll try it out. My favorite thing is plants and books, not plants, W. I'm gonna do green hair because I've always wanted like bright green hair. Mm, but I had purple hair. Let's do purple. There we go. Uh, pants color. Those like pigtails, those are so cute. Let's go with that. I like the little braids. Skull shirt, ride or die. Should I give myself a mustache? Heck yeah. No, I'm kidding. I'm assuming one is like nothing. Okay. And I like the gray cat. We're not gonna skip that. I know that I'm playing alone, but I like the Four Corners farm the most it just has the most land and then I like to segment my things for my very special granddaughter I want you to have this sealed envelope No, no. Don't open it yet. Have patience. Now, listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. What's he doing with his hand? He's like, now let grandpa rest. A certain amount of years later. Sometimes that's what it feels like. Also look at the size of those computers. 
This is me. The cameras too. Also same. Dear Kenny, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Malo's Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift after all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Sometimes I feel like that's how life is. You just go to work, go to sleep, go to work, go to sleep, and then you're like, what is the point of any of this? Also, it is so silent, silent on this bus ride. They don't they don't have headphones in Stardew Valley. No music. I always light my candles for the horror games, but I forget to light it with the cozy game. Well, let's be truthful. I always forget to light my candle before. Hello, you must be Kenny. I'm Robin the local carpenter. Mary Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here if you'll follow me. This is Malo's farm. Yeah, it looks a little beat up. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. And here we are, your new home. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic. That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. <laughs> Me too, Robin. Rude! Don't listen to her, Kenny. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Ooh, called out. Anyway, you must be tired from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in the box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Well, good night. How do you avoid the monsters at night? Hmm? Or the fatigue that just suddenly hits you at midnight? Also, it is silent. Do I have? Okay. I was like, 
I know in my personal one I turn it off because I like to listen to like lo-fi music while I play. But it is too quiet on a video. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Cool. Getting more seeds. I love planting like the random seeds because then you're like, what am I gonna get this time? What about next time? So, no music whatsoever. I don't remember there not being any music. And you guys just saw me turn it up, so. Okay. I'm just gonna mine these. Excuse me. You found a geode. The local blacksmith can break it open for you. Who knows what might be hidden inside? For real, who knows? Also, I forgot <clears throat> that you only have one line of inventory right now. So used to just like... Having all the inventory I think it's like three or four lines. Three lines. Um, anyways, I wanted to post this video mainly because I don't have a trailer for my channel. And so I thought, what better way to create a trailer for my channel than to play Stardew Valley or a cozy game? I think. I was either going to play Stardew Valley or Dave the Diver. I wrote it down because I was like, I need to make a trailer. Um, but anyways, just to get to know me a little better, I actually started YouTube, like filming YouTube videos when I was 18. So that would be five years ago. Let's see, 20, Six years ago. Um, I was almost 19, I think. But anyways, six years ago. And I grew up watching YouTube, I think from the time I was 13, 14. And I was like, man, that's something that brings me joy is to watch YouTube. So I was like, what if I could bring other people joy as well? Plus, I enjoy vi playing video games, so here I am, recording YouTube videos. Uh, I did take, I think, like a three or four year hiatus, um, and when I came back, I started showing my face, and it's not that I didn't show my face for privacy reasons before, it was more of a... I didn't have a camera before and now I do so here I am this is me well me with dyed hair but who cares me all the same um I started out playing horror games so I think I did like the randomest stuff when I started out I did like episode one of Bendy and the Ink Machine because I didn't quite have <clears throat> the funds to buy the other episodes. 
so I just started with episode one and then I played Doki Doki Literature Club and if you want some cringy content other than the cringy content that I make now go watch my old videos uh, where it's just my voice speaking over the game and I didn't edit anything because I didn't know how to. So I just posted what I recorded and that was it. I was happy with that. I think about seven or eight videos in, I don't know, maybe 10, 11. Somewhere when I came back, I was like, I'm gonna start recording and I want to be kind of serious about it. So I am going to bed because I'm sluggish um, at 1, 2 p.m. Um, so I started recording and then I started editing. I think the first video I posted when I came back, I didn't edit and then I was like, okay, I wanna start editing. So I started editing and then I started doing the thumbnails, uh, which I did do some thumbnails when I did Doki Doki Literature Club, but they were in like paint just on your computer. Uh, hi there, good morning. I noticed that you've been breaking some rocks open and finding ore. That's good. If you want to get the most out of the ores you find, you'll need a furnace. Just so happens, I had an extra set of blueprints lying around. Here, I want you to have them. Learned how to craft the furnace. The furnace allows you to smelt bars. <clears throat> smelt bars. The bars can be used for crafting, construction, and tool upgrades. When you've smelted a few copper bars, consider having me upgrade one of your tools. It can make you your work a lot easier. Well, okay, I'm heading home. Take it easy. Oh, now you're doing... I'm just going to turn it down a little bit. There. Now I can talk over it. No, I didn't want to water the mailbox. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. Oh, there's more. Hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you. Willie. Before 5 p.m., craft a furnace, cultivate and harvest a temp, uh, a template, yeah. Um, anyways, so that brings me to where I'm at today. Just making little YouTube videos that make me happy and give me something to look forward to every week. And making little thumbnails that I use Canva for now and learning more and more every time I upload and every time I edit a video and every time I make a thumbnail. So that's a little bit about my YouTube journey so far. Oh, well, my, I don't... <clears throat> I would rather have this leak. Oh, but I want the dandelion too. Okay, I since I have time, because nothing opens to like eight or nine in this little tiny town, <clears throat> I'm going to, well, I can't make a chest. I'm gonna plant some of these seeds. How many do I have? Six? Mm. 
No, I want it right there. So, yep. I really like playing horror games, but I found out yesterday when I went to record one of the horror games I bought that I get very scared easily playing horror games, which is entertaining, I'm sure, to watch, but at the same time, I was like paralyzed, wouldn't continue, and obviously it's like, why are you so scared, you know? What's really gonna happen? Oh, you get jump scared? So, I thought, let's, let's have a cozy game. Let's do something exciting. Let's go meet a bunch of town people. Oh, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Also, Twitch just sent me a notification. That's another thing in my journey. I started doing Twitch streams, which I had never done before, ever. I was like, oh, let's try those. And I don't know how much I like them. They're kind of fun to get ready for, kind of exciting, but I think starting out, I kind of like the, I'm gonna post a video and then see how it goes versus the, I'm gonna focus the whole time I'm playing a game on also checking my viewer count and to make sure my frame rate's fine, which I mean, I do anyways. Um, but it was, it felt like a little bit more added stress onto the situation than I really wanted at the time. So YouTube it is for now. Hey, you're the new girl, huh? I think we're going to get along great. I'm Alex. Bold to assume, Alex. I'm gonna give this lady a present before I even meet her. Why hello! And welcome to our little community, dear. You can call me Granny if you like. Do you ever meet uh, old people like that where they're like, Oh, you can just call me Grandma. Oh, I didn't want to give you the gift. What did I give you? Hmm. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. I don't know what I gave him. Rocks? No, because that's the rock. Oh, a geode! I gave him my geode! So how was your first night in the old cottage? I am not going to give you a response at all. Just going to walk away. Hi. Do I have to meet you too? No? Okay. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. <laughs> oh, hello, I'm Penny. Hi, Penny. Bye, Penny. I just have to do the one-time introductions, right? I mean, not that I don't want to talk to them more. Er, hi, I'm Quint. Hi, Quint. Bye, Quint. I think it would be so amazing. Join us. Thrive. Sounds like a cult. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. Hey kid, the name's Pam. Well, I, mean, I guess I don't... Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. I thought she was saying that I was being a jerk and I was like, bro, 
What did I even do to you? Oh, it's 12.40. I can go to the Star Drop Saloon. No. Gus, I don't want to buy anything for you. From you. Oh, hello there. I'm Gus, chef and owner of the Star Drop Saloon. Where's your kitchen? I just want to get these introductions done. Abigail, yeah. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was arriving into the old farm. Moving into the old farm. Hey, it's Miss Kenny. The new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local general store. If you're looking for seeds, my shop is the place to go. I'll also buy produce from you for a good price. I'm not looking for seeds just yet. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. I'm glad that's okay, Jody. Ah, Mayor Lewis told me you just arrived. I'm Marnie. As I get slapped in the face. Ooh! I can read it on your face. You're gonna love it here at Pelican Town. If you're ever looking for something to do in the evening, stop by the saloon. That's where I work. Hello, you must be Kenny, the new farmer. I'm Carolyn. Have you met everyone yet? Sounds exhausting. Uh, I have nine more people to go. Right? Yeah, nine more people. <laughs> it's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Harvey, the local doctor. You know, with a small town like this, a new face can really alter the community, community dynamic. It's exciting. I think a the saloon would also be a good place to meet people. Ah, the new farmer we've all been expecting, and whose arrival has sparked many conversations, many other conversations. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. Blah, 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 blah. Ahoy there, miss. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. How much was the new rod? Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stay alive. And hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. You received the bamboo pail. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, what if I give you... There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Yeah, you get everything. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyway. 
these waves, I can hear them in my soul. Oh, you're that new farmer girl, or whatever, aren't you? And you're a bitch, aren't you? I don't even remember your name. I just know you're Emily's sister. The only thing that matters. It's locked. Just don't know if you have to trigger that to get it opened or how you progress on that. Okay, well. He's not in his lab. Oh, heck yeah. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. You're not good enough friends with Sebastian to enter his bedroom. When I was younger, Sebastian would have been... The guy would have been like, Oh yeah, Sebastian. Greetings, I'm Demetrius. Local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Be like, yes, my name's Kenny. Hiya! With the axe. <laughs> Robin's done with her exercises. Gonna go to the bar, see if there's no one else I can meet. Let's see, who else do I have to meet? Sam, who's not old enough to be at the bar. What? What do you want? Go away. Did that count? Okay, I need to meet him. These four. But the wizard doesn't count. What for did I say? Oh. Um, what's his name? I can't think of it. Stranger? Hello. Goodbye. Okay, now I need to meet Sam and Sam and who? Leah. Someone argue and be like, why'd you just throw it away? And I'll be like, because I didn't have anywhere to put it. Mm, it's currently raining. There's a 100% chance that it's raining. Oh, a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Well, dang it. It's been so warm here. It's, what is it, January 19th? And it genuinely feels like it's already spring. Not the worst feeling, but also I'd rather be cold than hot. I mean, I don't like... What was that? I don't like either of them, but... much rather 
like to suffer through the cold than the hot. I'd say it's pretty damn impressive that Okay, time to stop, otherwise I'm going to have to crawl back to bed before I meet everyone. Who do I have left? Leah and... I think his name is Sam. You're gonna be inside playing the drums. Eh. Why is my energy bar gotta be so low? Oh, heck yeah. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet ya. Okay, Leah. Leo, 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 Leo. I don't remember where she hangs out a lot other than in the woods. I love her decorations for Halloween the most. I kind of want to make one of the... She has this cute little skeleton that hangs in the window and I would love to make one of those. Is that moving? Am I just going cray cray? I think I'm just going cray cray. Oh, closed on Wednesdays. If I were Leah, where would I be? On this fine rainy, rainy day. Well, Sebastian likes to stand on, on the pier on rainy days. Got a book. You found lost book. A lost book. Not just lost book. She has to come out sometime, right? Right? It's like a frog. A boo. A boo. Oh, there it was. The little froggy. Heck yeah. Hello, nice to meet you. Please take this. This is a really nice gift, thank you.
Love you lots. this episode for part one of Stardew Valley. We're just getting our town made, making some uh, parsnips. There we go. I almost said leeks because we got some leeks too, but we just did some introductions uh, to myself. Woo! To myself and to the characters of Stardew Valley. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful night. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you're not already doing those things and last but not least don't forget to blow out your candle.